From your, under this position, there are plenty of pieces that are under attack. Our bishop, our knight, uh, um, a black knight, and if this pawn moves, th these two bishops will be under attack as well. So uh, it's going to move, and it's probably not that hard to figure out the first move. We grab a knight. And, um, uh, well, of course, uh, black can't exactly take back this pawn since simply trade, and white is up a whole piece. And uh, after this move, black can't, ex can't exactly do that either because, again, it will be up a piece, and once he takes that, we'll, uh, white will be totally winning. So the, so, so the only option after um, after our pawn takes the knight is if his bishop swoops down and takes our bishop. He takes f1. So now, um, this, uh, oh, oh, we have to think of a key move here since if we just take the bishop, say with our h rook, but then uh, black can simply uh, capture back his piece. And, well, black is actually more than okay since right now uh, plenty of. Uh, whites and game pawns are under attack right now, so that won't work. So we have to think about an in-between move first. So, how we think about it, uh, black is going to try to take our bishop, so let's not move it to B, uh, to F6. Now, now, when we move it to F6, uh, oh, this is a nice little wrinkle here, since um, if black takes our bishop, well, then we can capture the knight, delivering check, and then when black moves, now we can take the bishop, and uh, none of our pawns are under attack. And uh, we have another piece, so black can't take out our bishop. So well, black can try taking the g2 pawn, tapping our rook, and right. But now we simply take the bishop. Sorry, simply take the bishop, and um, I guess he could just try taking the knight, and and we take the rook, and well, yes, take the rook, and at at the end. We get the last bite of the cake. Uh, our rook can take his bishop, and although black can try to get our bishop, uh, we can simply move it out of the way, and then we have a totally winning position.